What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64 and today I want to talk to you guys about a personal opinion of mine that got people messaging me, I guess you could say, and saying about how I don't like Overwatch, and I haven't tried it. So I'm going to talk about why I don't like Overwatch being Game of the Year. Um, now, just a disclaimer, I have not played Overwatch yet. I do not own Overwatch Origins edi Edition or whatever edition. I don't own anything of Overwatch. I haven't tried Overwatch yet. So this is a verdict, or in other words, I guess an opinion as of 1.05 a.m. Um, the December 6th of 2016. And here's my opinion about Overwatch as it stands. Um, it'll change because uh, when I try out Overwatch, it'll probably change. Will it be more negative and positive? That's something I'll have to wait and see. But anyway, let's get into this. So, why do I not like Overwatch for Game of the Year? I have said, I'm pretty sure I said in my Game Awards video, I could be wrong and let me know if I'm wrong, but I have said in my over in my Game of the Year video or the Game Awards video that Overwatch isn't a bad game. It's just a game I don't like right now. And the reason why I don't like it is because one thing I hate in the industry as a whole is things being overhyped or overliked or overpopulated. And, you know, this is coming from a TF2 fan, a Team Fortress 2 fan. And saying that I don't like Overwatch is a big, bold statement because I liked Team Fortress 2. TF2 will remain one of my favorite games of last gen, but... I will still say that I don't like Overwatch, and the reason why I don't is because it, I just don't like things being overhyped. And Overwatch is an overhyped, overpopular game, and I'll be honest, right now, as my opinion stands, it feels like a showboating game. It feels like a game just so for the developers and the publisher now to show off that it won awards, that they're not gloating and putting microtransactions, that they're not putting DLC. I'm not saying I like microtransactions or DLC to a certain extent, but I'm saying that, you know, you're just making other companies look bad. Horrible, actually. You're making companies like Activision, Ubisoft, EA look bad because they have those things in their games. And you're like you're that douche who ha who won that golden award, and you're telling everybody that you're the best person in the school because you're amazing, and everybody else sucks. And that's what I don't like about Overwatch. It's just it's so overhyped. It's so overrated. I feel anyway. And again, this is coming from a guy who hasn't played it yet, so it might be one of the best games of this gen, in my opinion, when I play it. But as it stands right now at 1:08 p.m. a.m., sorry, I don't like the game. And before you say that I don't have an opinion, I'm entitled to my opinion anytime I have my opinion. And to all the people out there who say, "Oh, um, I wait for games." And I wait until I hear get a review from them. One day, it's going to happen that a game is going to get some piss poor reviews for something stupid. I don't know, right? Something poor, piss poor review. And the, inter and the reviewers are going to fuck up. And then everybody's going to listen to it. And then they're going to say, oh, well, it's a bad game for that reason. And I think it actually already happened once with one game. Um, I think, yeah, okay. Oh, perfect example. Okay. Everybody knows the whole Assassin's Creed Unity horrible accident that happened. It's not even an accident. It did it on purpose. But that happened in 2014, two years ago. Then Ubisoft in 2015, after saying sorry about, about a billion times and offered free stuff, they tried to make another Assassin's Creed game in 2015. And I say tried because just listen... Unity sold 12 million copies. If I'm not wrong, it sold around 10. 10, or 10 to 12 million units um, on PS4 and Xbox One in 2014. It was phenomenal. It was a good seller. People loved it. Unity did amazing in sales. So then in 2015, the year after Assassin's Creed Unity happened, they released Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which was a follow-up and a sequel to Assassin's Creed Unity. It set out to fix everything that was wrong with Unity. It had a, f a playable female character. It had a working game on all platforms. There was no bugs, no issues. They made a good story, and they made it amazing. And they used the same engine from Unity without any bugs or glitches. 
and they loved it. Syndicate was a great game. It remains as one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games of all time. However, the sales for Assassin's Creed Syndicate did so poorly, and I can't give you numbers because they didn't get reveal numbers. That's how bad it was. But Ubisoft went on to say in March of this year that Assassin's Creed Syndicate sold at a very big loss compared to Assassin's Creed Unity. And although we don't have official numbers, I heard from someone that Syndicate only managed to sell 3 million units. And that's horrible, considering that Unity sold 12 million. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag managed to sell 8 million. That's insane to me that an Assassin's Creed game didn't do well. Why? Because it was a great game. Syndicate was a beautiful game. But it was but it was flawed by people's expectations and people saying that it's a piss poor game because of what happened with Unity. Now look, because of that, people jumped the gun and they said Syndicate sucks. But now I give Syndicate to people and they say that it's a phenomenal game because it is. It's the first Assassin's Creed game that gives you a playable female assassin in the main series title and allows you to play the male at the same time. It did so much that the series needed, but it did it at the wrong time, especially after a big mistake like Unity. And that's the same thing, and that's what I feel like. I don't like those people who wait for reviews and then say, oh, you're stupid for blowing your money. I'm not stupid for blowing my money. I just love video games. And if I make a mistake buying a video game that's broken, tough shit. It's a mistake I have to live with. I'll just trade it in, and I won't get all of my value, but I'll get high enough of a value that I can just shove off the losses. And considering that if you make enough money, you should be able to afford um, you know, the losses. And even if you don't like a game... like. Who cares if you buy a game for full price, which in Canada is 80 bucks, which is huge if you ask me. That's a lot for asking a game. Like, that's only 20 bucks away from 100 bucks. And I know that's huge, but think about it. If you are already going to buy that money, okay, buy that game. And I'm not saying buy every single game that comes out. No, no, no. I'm just saying if a game piques your interest, don't piss yourself away from that game just because you don't know it or it's from an unknown developer. Now, yes, I know the bullshit happened with No Man's Sky. The bullshit happened with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. All that bullshit happened. I'm a gamer too. I know it happened. But you have to realize that developers like, for example, um, developers like DICE from EA, if they release Star Wars Battlefront 2 next year, I'm going to buy it day one. Not only because I'm a huge fan of Star Wars Battlefront, but because I just love Star Wars. I will buy that game, okay? I don't care. It was a fully functional game, the first game of Battlefront. I like this one. And look at Activision and Bungie. They'll release a new Destiny next year, and when they do, I will buy it. Because it's Destiny. I like Destiny. If you like something, you shouldn't piss yourself away just because it's broken, once or if it was broken or if another game that's not even related to the series at all is broken stop being so paranoid about it if it's going to be broken or not and saying i'm going to wait for the reviews seriously that's a waste of time now a good example of this too is on this day is actually the last guardian that released and you know what? I know that game is having technical issues on PS4, but I've been waiting for that game since 2009. It is a if you want to hear what it means to ha to put a game in development hell, The Last Guardian is a perfect example. And I can't wait to pick it up myself. I'm not going to be picking it up right away only because I don't have the money for it. I put my expenses that I need before I put my uh games most of the time and uh, or at least now I do, and I don't, and I'm not going to pick up Last Guardian now, especially now that it's Christmas season, I need, to, I need to buy people gifts, so anyway, I am excited for a lot of games, I'm a gamer, I love games, but I know for a fact that there's going to be people out there who don't want to do that, look, all I'm saying is, I am going to try Overwatch, I promise you I will, and when I do, I will give my verdict, but I don't, really like it for a game of the year game maybe shooter for the year esports e game for the year fine but if you want to talk about you know game length how much it costs or 
any of that bullshit or if it, you know, or if it's worth your money or whatever, then we're not talking about this. It doesn't deserve Game of the Year for that reason. Um, Like, there should be a new category at the Game Awards. A game, like, for games that are actual Game of the Years and games that are, um, that are fan favorites. Because I think that, like, Overwatch belongs more in fan favorite territory than it belongs in Game of the Year territory. And I feel like people should have... There should have been nominations. Like, that's the thing with Game of the Year. They don't put nominations. And that's what they should do. Or if there was not nominations, I didn't see them. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about my opinion. Do you agree with me? Do you think that Overwatch should not have gotten Game of the Year? Or do you think that I'm being a little bit shallow and I need to try out Overwatch for myself before I give a serious uh, public statement like Overwatch doesn't deserve Game of the Year? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And don't forget to rate, comment, favor, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.